It's an elimination game in day two of the Columbia Regional. It's Campbell taking on Central Connecticut State University from Founders Park. A great day of baseball in day one in Columbia, and it finds us here. Campbell and Central Connecticut playing in an elimination game. The Friday night starter, the NEC Pitcher of the Year, takes the bump in a crucial game. He's an absolute workhorse. Threw 116 pitches against Sacred Heart, and then two days later, 115 pitches against Wagner. Alvin, the leadoff hitter for this Campbell's offense, Arnold and Halstead will follow. Hitters six through nine in the lineup yesterday, six of 13 with an RBI. That was the lone bright spot. These Camel bats. The 0-2, hit over to short. Fielded by Elliott Good, makes the throw. And that is in time to cut down Belbin. The bunt popped right to Nyman. And it's an easy one, two, three inning for the NEC Tournament MVP. It's the mustachioed Hunter Lloyd on the mound for the Camels. And Roddy, we saw a very up and down performance at times yesterday from Cade Keeler. Much different with Jimenez in the three hole. So Redahan already on base. Gordon to follow. He's in the lineup today. And Jimenez in the three hole spot with Jimmy Sullivan batting cleanup. 3-2 is a call, third strike. Lloyd set with the 1-2. Chopped. Third base, going to be a tough play, and no throw made. So Jimenez is able to beat that one down the line. Nickel trying to cash in for the Blue Devils. And he can't. Strikes out to finish off the bottom of the first inning. The person that punishes, the only team that punishes, are the teams that are in that Stillwater Regional, and it's Oklahoma State that is on the wrong end of it. Hit well out to right, but there to make the catch is Joe Rios, and Logan Jordan gave it a ride, but... You can have one of those, and they can have <laughs> dueling hats. 2-2. Two -two. Called third strike, and Weller takes a seat. First strike out of the day for Dominic Nyman. Campbell team has found some success beating the ball into the ground. That one's a little bit more aerial, and it's lined into right for a base hit. In search of a hit in an NCAA tournament game, this one bobbled, and everybody's safe. So Riley didn't have a play in a similar situation last inning. Really good pitch by Hunter Lloyd to get a swing on a ball out of the zone. Hit over towards second base, bobbled the throw in time to Thompson, but a run scores. Rios brings in run number one for the Blue Devils. They jump out first. Can do to the opponent on the other side. 2-0, chopped, tough play, up the middle, base hit. Torniro scores, and it's 2-0. Courtesy of an RBI single from Aiden Redahan. Aiden Redahan is challenging his inner slapper. So you got to make sure you, you bless the bats to the old baseball gods and the new. Hit over towards second. Backhanded play made. A beautiful defensive play made by Brady Short to get Grant Nip. He looks like he can cook, man. Uh, just the way that he's handling the onions with the tongs. Jimenez in the left, and Jimenez makes a turn, heads towards second base, and he's in with a double. So another leadoff base runner for the Blue Devils. All Jeff Nickel has to do is get the ball in play. He gets it in play, and this will score another run. The throw in time from Arnold, but it's three to nothing. Central Connecticut State. Campbell left 13 base runners on yesterday. We'll see what they do here. 
To the back for one, the throw in time. It's a double play to get out of the inning. So Jordan grounds out to Redahan. He steps on the bag. It's been a big part of the success for the Blue Devils, who lead it three to nothing. Swing and a miss, and down goes Max Weller. Oh yeah, I mean we're we're stretching days in advance. I need to prepare. I need to ramp up my speed. Someone who doesn't need to ramp up his speed is Dominic Nyman. Back to back strikeouts. Nyman's three two. Called third strike. Down goes Riley, and the Blue Devils close out the top half of the fifth. When we Chandler Riley was the one that was in shallow right field. This one hit well, out to left, going back to the wall, it's gone! Jeff Nickel with a solo home run, and the lead expands to four to nothing for the Blue Devils. The sixth home run of the year for Nickel. Just a beautiful swing, balanced, on time, barrels it up. And this one's hit well out to right. Going back, and this is gone. Back-to-back -back home runs. This time, it's Joe Rios. On back-to-back -back pitches. Whew. First pitch swinging again. Another one. He had a fastball once again, a little elevated, and the dugout loves it. Being the first one there, and he aborts. Pitch get a little squirrely once you get close to the. Uh... This one stung out to left, but caught by Max Weller. That's what happens in games with stakes like this. Yeah! And Nyman loses Thompson. Brought you, Dominic Nyman brought you. So he's going to do the dancing. In the center, that's a base hit. Thompson takes a big turn past second. He'll go back. Showing bunt, puts it down. Going to be a tough play, and Halstead beats it to the bag. Bases loaded for the Camels with one out. First pitch swinging, ground ball, steps on the back for one, double play. Another inning ending double play for the Blue Devils defense. They get out of a bases loaded jam. Once again, the Blue Devils defense answering. Bases loaded, Logan Jordan ground to third. If you're gonna pull an upset like they're trying to do, you need it. 1-1. And that gets into right center field. It gets by Belbin and a leadoff base runner once again for the Blue Devils. Far today after struggling a bit yesterday. Chopped up the middle. Arnold has to go all the way over towards Jared Belbin territory to make pitch 100 on the way for Hunter Lloyd. And it's ball four to put runners on first and second base for Ramon Jimenez. Lloyd battled, but Roddy he couldn't get the, the key help from the defense at times, setting the stage here from Ty Cummings. A game that didn't have a lot of good, but this would be huge. And he hits it right over to Arnold, who bobbles it and is able to make the throw just in time to get Jimmy Sullivan. The Campbells escape trouble in the sixth. But this is uncharacteristic of them in terms of hitting. We have not seen this from them in consecutive spots. Tough play for good, and he makes it. The defense sparkling yet again for Central Connecticut State. It's land and being a fortunate bounce for Campbell. But Alex Good erases it. Down the line. And that is a fair ball. 
heading towards second base and sliding in head first. It's a one out double for Lawson Harrell. Unable to get anyone home in either occasion. And a walk here puts Nip on runners at first and second base. With Chandler Riley coming up. It'll be what Vincent Spazuko heading in, and you're right, Roddy. Great performance by Nyman. Strikes to you. And he misses. It's a walk, and the bases are loaded. 25th of 2022 against Maryland. 2 1. Chopper. Tough play for good. Can't come up with it. Everybody's safe, and the Camels have their first run of the day as Harold comes in to score. It's a 5 1 game. 2 2. Swing and a miss. And Spazuko gets Belbin for the second out of the inning. And that the dribbler that Elliot Good couldn't quite come up with at shortstop. 0 1. Hit well out to left. Back in the stands. We are tied. A two out grand slam ties it at five for the Camels. Bryce Arnold answers the call for Campbell. We're going to need that offense to come through again. The 0-1 in the center for base hit. Rios with his third hit of the day. Or on to at least put Rios in scoring position. Line drive caught by Riley. The throw gets away from first and Thompson. That allows Rios to reach second. Next pitch chopped. Right to Thompson, steps on the bag, and the Camels get out of the seventh. We are tied at five in an elimination game. More in a moment. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball, tough play again for good, and it is a hit. And this one hits Harold. Another hit batsman in this game for Campbell. Got to throw the pitch that you're the most confident in. Just missing off the plate. And Campbell has taken a lead for the first time in the NCAA tournaments, Columbia Regional. Oh, it's time to bring in the closer to make sure this this deficit doesn't grow. Thompson chops this one over to third. Fielded the throw to home plate for one. The relay gets away. Here comes another run. And the lead expands to two for Campbell. As Grant Nip scores, it's 7-5 Camels on a heads-up play by Nip. One, two. Belbin serves this one to left. Back to the wall. It's gone. Jared Belbin has busted this game open with a three-run homer. It's his 20th of the season. And just like that, the lead is 10-5 for Campbell. give them any hope by letting them put up a crooked number in the inning that follows. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. It's another hit 
for Renahan, his third of the day. The 2-2, letter high fastball, hit well to right, back on the track is Harold to make the catch, and a loud first out. And it wasn't like it was sort of a back and forth affair and they were flirting. Central Connecticut State controlled this game for the first six innings. And Arnold squeezes it for the final out of the eighth. Camels up five. Swing and a miss, run, gets nickel. Turniero has scored a run in single today. Ground ball over to third, fielded by Riley, and Campbell has advanced on the Sunday. After falling behind 5-0, they score 10 unanswered runs. And it's the eighth win this season for them after trailing through six innings. Roddy, what a response by this Campbell team. They looked like they had forgotten that regional started for the first 15 innings of this regional. The offense dormant, the defense spotty. But man, when they needed it the most, they came through.